All right, so this video is to do division with columns. It's very similar to regular long division, but it's um, very helpful for a different type of mi mindset. So let me start. Let's start with the problem 2,815 2, divided by five. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to head over to my side and I'm going to create a large tic-tac-toe map. Now within each map, I'm going to write the multiples of the number 5 because 5 is my divisor. So I'm going to write in all of my multiples of 5. Now the reason why I label every single thing so that I know exactly what I am multiplying 5 by. And then also when we start dividing by two digit numbers, we have our work mat and we're used to these to writing it all out. Oh, I'm sorry. So 5 times 9. So I'm going to fill in my multiples. It's also good for your pra for you to practice your multiplication facts and writing them all out. All right, so now this resource here is going to help me solve my problem. Now over to the side, I'm going to go ahead and create my long division problem with the columns. So I'm just making some lines for my columns. So I have a two, eight, a one, and a five. Now I need to ask myself, how many times may five be multiplied into the number two? So I go down to my tic-tac-toe, and if I do five times one, I've already gone over the number two, which is not what I want to do. So then five cannot be multiplied into the number two without going over. So I put a zero. So now five times zero will give me zero. I'm going to find my difference and I'm left with the difference of two. Now this number is left all alone and lonely He's going to be moved up to the column. He's going to go find a friend. So now I need to ask myself again, how many times can I multiply the number 5 into the number 28 without going over? So I'm looking for a number close to 28 without going over. So I'm just looking at my bottom products, 10, 15, 20, 25 is pretty close, 30 we went over. So I can multiply 5 into the number 28 five times. Not perfectly, but close enough. So I'm going to put the 5 on top. 5 times 5 is 25. The difference being 3. I'm going to go ahead and bring him over. So it's very similar to Long's division, just slightly different. So now I'm looking to multiply 5 into the number 31 without going over. So let me find my product closest to 31. It's going to be 30, but the number I'm going to write is going to be the 6 because I'm multiplying 5 by 6 to get to 31. So now 5 times 6 is 30. My difference is one. Remember, even though I have the zero, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's not worth anything there. So I'm going to carry over my one. Now, how many times can I multiply the number five into the number 15 without going over? So go back to your chart. Ah, perfectly, 15. So the number on the top will be three. Five times three. 15. 
you're going to be left with zero. So then your quotient, the answer to your problem, will be at the top. So 2,815 divided by 5 is going to give you 563.